Hi there, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and Isotope have just released RX6, and I have to say, they've done it with a bang. Now, apparently, they've harnessed machine learning to do things that were impossible before, including things like D-Russell and D-Wind. So let's get right into the demos of some of these brand new features. Now, the first one I want to show you is Dialog Isolate. And this has been designed to help us lift out dialog from noisy backgrounds. And so I've chosen one of my classic test files. It's an interview from a trade show floor. Hey, it's Russ here at NAMM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were, that you were one of the people behind 11 Rack and all of that kind of stuff. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. Now, I chose this because it's a real test of the machine learning, because the background is also dialogue. So would the dialogue isolate module be able to tell the difference between the wanted dialogue and the unwanted dialogue in the background? So to start with, let's try the Increase Intelligibility preset. Hey, it's Russ here at NAMM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were, that you were one of the people behind 11 Rack and all of that kind of stuff. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. That has worked remarkably well. But let's see whether we can push it a bit further. Hey, it's Russ here at NAMM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were, that you were one of the people behind 11 Rack and all of that kind of stuff. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. Well, that is just incredible. We've still got the wanted dialogue with virtually none of the unwanted background. And you can see now the potential for being able to completely change backgrounds to be able to help us match scenes in conjunction with the ambience match module. D-Wind is another one of these new machine learning based modules added in RX6 Advanced. You've all had the problem with a mic picking up wind noise. So here we have talking into a cardioid condenser mic outside, no windshield, no low cut. And then you try and filter it out, but you're still left with some high frequency wind noise. So here we have talking into a cardioid condenser mic outside, no windshield, no low cut. Now with the D-Wind module, you can take away wind like never before. Take a listen to this. So here we have talking into a cardioid condenser mic outside, no windshield, no low cut. Wow, well that is just absolutely amazing. In reality, I might just back it off a little, but my jaw was on the floor when I first tried this. Mike Russell, usually from personal or lavalier mics, has been a major problem in all kinds of applications, including drama and documentary, where we want to hide the mics underneath clothing so they can't be seen, but then we get the mic picking up all kinds of clothes Russell. And it's just been one of those things that we've never really been able to fix, because the Russell is often the same frequencies and level as the dialogue that you want to keep. And so it's really hard to remove that with the tools we've had up till now. But with D Russell and the machine learning technology, you can take out those Russell sounds. So this is trying out the D Russell. This is a, a Bayer tie clip mic. An MEC 10.11. So this is trying out the D Russell. This is a, a Bayer tie clip mic. An MEC 10.11. Wow. <laughs> It's just cleaned up the Russell without impacting on the dialogue. But the ambience perhaps isn't quite as smooth as we'd like. So we can increase the ambience preservation control up to 100%. And let's take another listen. So this is trying out the D Russell. This is a, a Bayer tie clip mic. An MEC 10. 
dot eleven. That is incredible. I, I'm running out of superlatives to use with these new modules. I'd never thought this would be possible because Russell, as I say, is so often the same frequencies and level of the dialogue. But there you go. With the help of machine learning, Isotope have managed the seemingly impossible. Click bleed has been a real pain ever since we started using click tracks in recordings. The musicians need the click loud enough to be able to follow, but then the click sound often leaks out of the headphones and into the microphones, so you can start to hear it on the recordings. Now, to save time in this review, I've used the RX Connect plugin to bring two files in, the click track as a reference file and the main vocal track to repair. Okay, so here we have... Uh, me talking against a click track in my headphones. And there you go. You can hear the telltale click bleed in the headphones being picked up by the microphone. Now, as long as you've got a recording of the click track as well, like this, and then you can use that as the reference file and get the debleed module to learn and create the profile from that click track to take it out from the main vocal recording. Okay, so here we have uh, me talking against a click track in my headphones. So at the moment I've got one ear on, one ear on, one ear off, put both ears on, one, two, three. This is both ears on. And there you have it, the click spill is gone. And the good news is that Isotope have brought this new D-Bleed module into RX6 Standard as well as RX6 Advanced. And of course this can work with all kinds of spill as long as you have a recording of it that's perfectly in sync. That's another problem solved with Isotope RX6. And these are just some of the high points. There's a lot more in RX6 that I can cover in this review. So read the article for more detail about what's been added and changed in RX6 and watch out for more on RX6 over the coming weeks. So what do I think? Well, I haven't had that much time to get to grips with RX6, but I have to say it's a huge release. They've added so many new features, some of which I've been able to cover in this review. Working mainly in post, the D-Russell, D-Wind and Dialog Isolate modules are just incredible. Moving on to the music-based tools, it's great to see Isotope adding some more music-focused tools to RX6 and adding them straight into RX6 standard too. For me, the D-Bleed module has to be the standout module here. I've had to deal with click bleed in the past, especially with some larger orchestral recordings, and it was really hard work and D-Bleed does it straight away. My only disappointment with this RX6 release is we don't have any multi-channel support. With the advent of virtual reality and using ambisonic acquisition with the likes of the Sennheiser Ambio mic, we really need multi-channel support even more than ever. I just hope that we won't have to wait until RX7 to finally get multi-channel support. Even so, the new features in RX6 Standard and RX6 Advanced are absolutely amazing. And with the addition of a new product, RX Elements, for the same price that the RX Plugin Pack was, is a very smart move. And so I'm awarding RX6 Editor's Choice. I'll see you again soon.